So imagine getting a phone call asking you to build a luxury home high above Whitefish. Really not unusual, especially if you're a builder in northwest Montana. But then you find out your work is going to be the showcase of a national television promotion. As Dennis Bragg finds out, it was a chance to turn a challenge into the perfect opportunity. You could say every house has a story. That's certainly the case for this luxury home on the slopes of Big Mountain, although its origin started as a mystery for Bear Baranowski and his colleagues. At the second or third meeting, they kind of revealed, OK, this is HGTV's dream home for 2019. And you, you can't tell anybody about this, but we've got some we've got a, you know, a budget we've got them hit. We've got a schedule we've got to hit, and we've got quality that we've got to hit. The expertise that we found in Timber Forge design and Momquist construction, um, you know, we just couldn't ship that in, if you will. They know the local area. They know all about um, what it takes to build in this terrain. Um, they're just really the pros. The challenge started in February during one of the snowiest winters in years on Big Mountain. But before long, the bold design with dream ideas was taking shape. Taller window wall than we've ever done, uh, one single slope roof over the top, and it transitioned into a space that not only allows a lot of glass to be done and a lot of light to come in, but also looks unique from both the inside perspective and outside perspective. It was different that you, we had two live cameras on the exterior, we had three live cameras on the interior, and then we had a cameraman who was kind of in your grill here, and he moved to Whitefish, and he was here every day filming while we were, and he kind of became part of the building crew. But it's not just the interior of the home that's beautiful. Out here on the deck, you get a full chance to enjoy the view of Whitefish Lake and the Montana outdoors. Everybody just wants indoor-outdoor space, especially in Montana. That's that's kind of the key. That, that Everybody lives outside. And the beauty about this house is with the door system that we have, the inside and outside are so interactive that if you had 100 people in here, it wouldn't feel full. Nice little interaction between the outside and inside, uh, along with the living room uh, window wall that is an accordion style wall that goes all the way back so you've got a 16 foot wide opening by 10 feet tall really capturing that inside outside feel so it's really a functional space. Functional right down to the classic cedar hot tub. When you walk in it just kind of takes your breath away and immediately when you're inside you feel like you're outside again and you've got you know Whitefish Lake in the background all the woods, the forest, and you feel like you're just perched on top of the world up here. The idea behind the design of this home was to tie together the feel of Big Mountain in western Montana with the rest of the Pacific Northwest. It's kind of a mashup of like new western and also Pacific Northwest because we're so close to Washington, which is known for its Pacific Northwest style, but we're also in Montana, and I love both styles equally. So I thought by blending the two, we kind of appeal to a wider audience and create something new and fresh. And that's what impresses. Luxury touches, yes, but a home-style feel. From recycled wood from an historic building in Columbia Falls, the handrail formed of ski lift cable, to the pet nook under the stairs to welcome fuzzy friends. Throw in a new Honda and a quarter million dollars in cash, and you really do have big dreams on Big Mountain. It turned into another house, but it was a, a special house for us. But we were really proud of it, uh, how we pulled it off and how it happened for sure. On special assignment, Dennis Bragg, MTN News. Wow. Staged pretty nice too, mm -hmm. huh? By the way, here's the uh, important stuff. Entries for the HGTV Dream Home Sweepstakes starts uh, December 28th. You can enter twice a day until the house is awarded after February 18th.